Hello, welcome to Gay Liberation Network's live call-in show on CAN-TV. We are with Gay Liberation Network, a direct action uh, organization based around the LGBTQ and I community um, uh, here in Chicago and Cook County. And uh, this evening we have a, um, a special discussion on transsexual identity and uh, the scientific um, you know, support for that identity, as well as some changes that are needed within our psychiatric community to recognize that identity. Um, and with us, we have uh, uh, Dr. Veronica Drance, a uh, biologist and physiologist uh, here in the Chicago area. Um, before we get started on the on this topic, we um, have an announcement about our, you know, we are a direct action group and our next uh, event that we have coming up shortly is a uh, a protest of a performer at the House of Blues right here in downtown Chicago on Thursday, October 1st. Please hold the date. Uh, it is, there's a Jamaican uh, performer that the House of Blues has booked that advocates the killing of gays and lesbians and uh, as part of murder music. Uh, you can call the House of Blues to register your complaint of this uh, performance on your screen there. It's a little, uh, the number is 312-923-2000. And you can also get more information about this on our website at www.gayliberationnetwork.net. Sorry, gayliberation.net. So again, that's www.gayliberation.net. It's right behind my shoulder here. So, um... As I mentioned earlier, we're, we're discussing this topic of transsexual identity, um, which uh, many people in the LGBT community uh, may wonder, you know, what's there to, to advocate about this. But uh, our group of people in this society have, uh, for decades, millennia probably, uh, been referred to as sick. And um, the American Psychiatric Association uh, can, has a, a book that helps guide them in their, um, in their presentation of what, of what their group thought is, um, to the, to the world. And up until 1973, homosexuality was considered a pathological illness, um, that, uh, should not be, uh, should not be celebrated within the uh, psychiatric community, but rather should be uh, cured. And still to this day, transsexual identity is recognized as a pathologi pathological illness uh, that should be cured and, um, you know, effectively categorizing people as crazy. So um, with that introduction, we have uh, Dr. De Veronica Drance uh, to tell us a little bit more about what the problem is. What is the problem? Well, uh, first of all, should we define for the audience what it, we are saying a transsexual is? Sure. Okay. A transsexual person is somebody who has conventional chromosomes and conventional bodily anatomy and physiology, but uh, feels from uh, very early on a strong and persistent uh, sexual identity uh, of the other sex. Okay. Um, and this is, you know, even though their body is, you know, physically they are one sex, but they identify themselves as the opposite. Okay. Um, w tell us what the, the problem is with, um, with what's going on in the American psychiatric uh, community. There's this, tell us more about this manual. Okay, well, first of all, the manual is called the DSM. And DSM stands for Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of mental disorders. And this is basically the Bible of the American Psychiatric Association, which publishes this book. And it's uh, the standard classification of mental disorders used by uh, psychiatrists and other mental health professionals across the United States. And it's uh, very important because it's, uh, as I said, used by psychiatrists across the United States, but also other mental health professionals uh, other medical doctors, psychologists, nurses, social workers, occupational and rehabilitation therapists, counselors, um, and uh, in addition, and importantly for this particular subject, 
Other institutions also consult the DSM, researchers, psychiatric drug regulation agencies, and importantly for this con discussion, health insurance uh, companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies, policy makers. And uh, this book is consulted for all sorts of clinical settings, inpatient, outpatient, you name it. And even um, uh, medical professionals from outside the United States will often consult the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. Yeah. And at this point in our, in our politics, uh, it could be having an even greater effect on, on our culture Absolutely. because the, the government and policymakers right. are starting, you know, are uh, going to start covering some more health care. Well, Brent, the DSM is up for revision. Mm -hmm. it's, it's slated to be revised during uh, the year next year. Uh, and currently in the DSM, uh, uh, transsexual people are designated as suffering from a GID, Gender Identity Disorder. And uh, the scientific evidence indicates the, that transsexual people are merely natural variations. They're different. They're not disordered. Agreed. And uh, most of the folks in the uh in the lesbian and gay community, I think, are familiar with being called uh, disordered and uh, by churches and, and other groups. So we, we understand the, well, the hurtful we, nature of that. Now kind we've of got hard scientific data yeah. that it, shows that transsexual people are merely different, not disordered. And I, I like to share that with the audience. Yeah, what has and, been learned by science? Okay, well. Um, over the last 50 or 60 years, there's been a lot of work done on uh, human sexual development. And I see the science is falling into like two uh, parts. One part deals with showing that sexual identity is an actual biological phenomenon and not something that's a, a social or cultural construct. It's not something we learn, it's something innate. Okay, we're mammals. <laughs> and uh, uh, this part of the brain that governs uh, sexual behavior is much the same in all mammals, as far as we can tell. What part of the and, brain is that? Ah, a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. So the second part of the research has to do with the brain work uh, that uh, looks at transsexual brains and the brains of other people and compares them. Would you like to show the slide? Well, no, 